I've been working on a commissioned portrait and the generous folks over at Golden Maple Brushes were kind enough to send me a gorgeous set of their brushes and asked if I would be interested in giving a, a bit of a review and um, a demo and I thought, absolutely. I was honestly so excited when I got the package because look at it, look at it. Um, it is a gorgeous set of brushes. The handles are gorgeous. probably the best ones I own now so thank you to Golden Maple. <laughs> There's just everything I need here including these larger ones and a palette knife. I'm using this. This is called a flat shader. When I'm painting faces the flat brush is what I use the very most. Um, it's my most useful and my favorite for my more representational paintings, like this one. I like to think of the planes of the face as sort of sculpting, and the flat shader allows me to dab the color on in strokes in all different directions. The flat shader I've been using has a precise line if you use the edge of it. Just as about as detailed as a liner brush, only it can be thicker easily just with more pressure. I'm working from a different reference photo than I was earlier. So I thought I would show you this a round brush. This is also a 10. Round brushes have this nice little. So anyway, I thought that you might enjoy watching the, a bit of my process for painting portraits. It's messy and gloppy at times, but I paint in what's called a la prima. I don't have a sketch. I just sort of start and then not get it right and just keep experimenting and I have to adjust it as I go. But it works better for me with, with ADHD. Just get, just, I just gotta start. And so, and then I work on refining it as I go after I get everything in the right place. Right now, you might be questioning my ability to paint portraits. Um, I put those lines on his face. I will add those on purpose, way too bold um, without being blended in. But it reminds me where I want the shading to be, where I want the lines to be, where I want the darker values to be for the creases and wrinkles and things, and where I want the lighter values to be uh, around those. One more brush I want to show you that I use to do the detail work. It's a number two flat. If you want to try this set of brushes, they are extremely reasonably priced and they've given me a little discount code. It's Kristen456 and I will put all the, the links you need in the description box below.